Splat TV Hip Hop 101 interview. What's your name? Adeli Sabel. How old are you, yo? 15. What's your, how you been? Been good. How you been just the, fa the past few years, you know, as you get older, you start reaching certain peaks in your life where you start understanding what's what? You know, my thing getting smarter. Every day I'm getting smarter, man. Um, I know you're a big hip hop fan. Yes, sir. Uh, are you more of a hip hop fan or a rap fan? Because hip hop consists of more of the crunk, more of the the bat, the bass beats. Rap is more of the lyrical game. Are you are you in a mixture of both, or you're just more one on one? I'm a mixture of both. And um, what's wrong with hip hop right now, just in general, the overall aspect of hip hop, the proper roots? What, what's wrong with it? A lot of shitty rappers, Gucci Mane and them. I mean, they don't rap. Shit is whack, man. I don't know what's going on in this world. Is, is it too commercialized? Is the game, the overall industry, too commercialized at this point, 2010? Yes, sir. Niggas don't spit that hard shit no more, man. That and, ether, nigga. And, and, and why is being popular, having a fan base so important this, this, this day and age? Why is I have a million fans so I'm good? It's, being, it's so important right now. You're going to buy your album, you're going to make money. I'm rich. And, I'm and, and it's been said, how come um, 10 years ago, you didn't have to have a fan base to be, to be noted as a good lyrical rapper? Repeat the question. Why has, you know, 10, 13, maybe 20 years ago, you didn't even, even have to have a fan base to be considered a good, a great lyricist? Why, why has that changed? Why is selling records so important now? It's all about the money now. Buddy. It's all about the money? So and, and it's, it's hip-hop, man. And is hip hop too accessorized? Yeah, I think, man. Can you give me a, a great example of a song or just a group being too accessorized? Money, cars, clothes. Just give me an example. I'll give you a um, rapper, um, Joe Santana. Always rapping about Gucci. Just Gucci, Louie, come on, man. Just rap was real. Shooting niggas. That nigga ain't real. Hey, you do, has he ever shot somebody? I doubt it. You doubt it? And, and, and why do you think that he only raps about those materials? I don't know. He just want to be cool. Not um, enough to rap about. So you're not a fan of Joel Santana? No, I'm not. Um, does that rapper, just in general, need to have hits to be considered good? I mean... Now, or just you don't really think so? It shouldn't be that way. Shouldn't, just give me an insight. I think you got to have some hits. If you don't have no hits, then you're just going to be another broke-ass rapper. Gotta have your hits though. Who or what can bring hip hop back to its proper roots? We're talking Run DMC, Kooji Rap, Big L. Who, just what has to come? What has to happen one, for for that to come back? The roots. Just come back like from, come back from Nas. Jay Z gonna have to get on his shit. Joe Ortiz up and coming. Slaughterhouse. Eminem and them. Bring the shit back, man. We're just talking about album sales. It, I, I just want there to be a point where album sales doesn't mean anything. Where you can just rap. That's never gonna happen again, like back then. Would you, would you like that? Would you prefer that over now? I mean... Like when MTV is running the hip-hop game. Man, it's whatever, man. I just listen to music. I'm just a fan of music. Why is Jay-Z considered to be the greatest rapper of all time? Many people would disagree and many people would agree. Why? I don't know. It's probably because of the hits. I don't know. But I just don't like that nigga. I think that nigga's wild. And he's a biter. Do you have to, um, do you have to sell? I mean, so th thanks for the interview. All right. Check out my blog at hiphopisgone.blogspot.com. It's nice speaking to you.